This first video I'm going to show you how to do corned beef hash with eggs. Now I have four eggs, a quarter, uh, a third of that um, corned beef that I showed you before, two cooked potatoes, one onion, some cream and some bell peppers which have been roasted. But you don't have to use the, uh, roasted ones, you can just get a bell pepper and chop it up. Now I've chopped all my ingredients up and now I'm going to give them a fry. I fried these bell peppers and onions in a quarter of a cup of the thickened cream. Next I'm going to be adding my potatoes and my corn beef. I'll be adding two teaspoons of Tuscan seasoning because I like that flavour. And then I'll be frying my eggs. I'll show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like when it's finished. Serve it with toast and it'll easily serve four with maybe some leftovers next day for breakfast. With the second piece of corned beef I'm going to show you how to make five spice corned beef fried rice. So in this little bowl here we have one teaspoon of five spice, two teaspoons of tomato sauce, we have two teaspoons of garlic, three eggs to make an omelette, Soy sauce to your own taste, pepper to your own taste. We have some cooked carrot, one whole cooked carrot, the corned beef, half a cup of peas, one onion and three cups of um, cooked rice and sesame oil. So first of all I'm going to make the omelette up and then I'm going to fry these ingredients up add the rice and all the condiments to it and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. In the wok I placed all the vegetables, the corned beef, the five spice powder and the uh, garlic. And now I'm frying it all together. This is what it looks like when it's finished. I added the sesame oil, salt and pepper to my taste and also the soy sauce to my taste. This is a great way of using up um, corn beef and also it tastes really nice with the five spice powder and the garlic. I hope you like this recipe. My third um, recipe and this is the third bit of the corned beef. Now it's shredded and I'm going to use this barbecue sauce, a smoky sauce and I'm going to serve it with coleslaw and I'm going to put a little bit of mustard in my coleslaw as well to give it that really nice taste and I'm going to have it serve it on these bagels which are gluten free. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. I'll have put four tablespoons of the smoky barbecue sauce. I've made the coleslaw with a quarter of a cup of mayonnaise and one teaspoon of mustard. That's what it looks like in the end and it's delicious, frugal and yummy as well.